Hello everybody, this is Michael Pena and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use um, VSTS in your Windows machine. Well, um, to be honest, there are so many ways on how you can do this and um, you know, one example is using Visual Studio or other um, Git um, management tools such as um, Source Tree, Git Kraken or whatnot. But in this video, I'm just going to focus on using the um, Git Bash for Windows. So first and foremost, um, what you need to do is go to um, git-scm.com and download your um, Git Bash and um, Git GUI tools. So in this case, I'm just gonna open my Git Bash. Let's go to Start and um, open my Git Bash. And there you go. So in this way, with Git Bash, I can basically um, clone my Git repositories, uh, regardless if it's on VSTS or other um, Git um, providers. So in this case, I'm just going to navigate on my project on VSTS, which is uh, my favorite VSTS. So if you if you don't have yet a VSTS account or um, you want to know how to create a VSTS project, um, you can check out my other video, which is the Getting Started with Visual Studio Team Services on Mac. So now that I'm on VSTS, I'm just navigate on my recent project, which, which is my second project. Then go into the code part and navigate to my second project. Okay, so basically I want to clone this project which is the my company folder and the readme.txt and everything within this repository. So the easiest way to do it is basically just go to the upper right portion and look for the clone button. You can see the clone button up there and click on that one and there you go so you can um, copy this um, git url and alternatively you can generate your own git credentials for this git url or you can um, just clone this um, git repository using your favorite ide that is it um, that is acceptable within your os in this case you can use visual studio android studio or Eclipse or any other um, IDEs here. So in this case, I'm just going to copy this git URL and go into um, Go back to my git bash Okay, now that I'm back in my git bash all I need to do is clone it on my local machine So in this case, I'm just going to clone it on my desktop. Just go type in CD space desktop Okay then um, just gonna clone it by typing git space clone space then paste in the um, git url and there you go it's now cloning my project Okay, so it might ask for your um, Visual Studio Team Services um, credentials with your Microsoft account. So in, in this case, um, my Microsoft account is already associated with the um, VSTS, so it didn't prompt me anymore. But in your case, if it, if it is your first time on um, logging in using your um, Microsoft account, it might prompt for, um, for a window. Okay. Then let's now check it out. Okay, there you go on my desktop. Okay, then there's the my company and the readme. So let's just um, you know just modify the readme for simplicity. Open it on Notepad and um, install Xamarin. Then probably you know just say um, add some unit test. Save it in, close, close that one. Then if you go back to the git bash, let's just go type git space status. 
Okay. Uh, we need to first um, go to the repository, cd space, um, my second project, and I'm gonna go git status. And as you can see, that the um, readme that text was modified. Okay. Then um, just gonna add that one. Git add space. Um, read me that text or in in case there are so many um, files that was modified you can just type git space add space dash dash all then after that one um, just go into um, you need to commit this one on your um, on your machine first just type in git space commit dash m space um, modified read me just just make sure that you enclose it on double quotes and press enter then you can see one file change one insertion and um, what's we're gonna do now is you know um, make the changes from our local repository to the um, VSTS repository um, in this case we'll just need to do some git push space origin space master because we're just working on the master branch for now okay there you go the changes has, has been made and um, let's check it out if the uh, changes has been made in the VSTS. Let's go to the history. And there you go. Modified readme. And if you go back to files. And click on readme.txt. we can see that the um, changes has been made. So that's very easy. So, you know, um, using VSTS on um, a Windows machine is relatively easy using um, Git, okay? So in other cases, you might use Visual Studio and that's also very um, straightforward. Just go to the Teams of um, team um, tab of Visual Studio. But in this case, if um, we're not dependent on Visual Studio at all if we're just using uh, Visual Studio code or other um, you know, text editors, then this could be very useful for us. And alternatively, you can also use other um, Git management tools such as um, Git Kraken, um, Atlassian, um, Source Tree, or any other um, Git tools. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment it out. And if you have any suggestions or anything you want to say, just, um, you know, comment it out. I'll reply within um, as soon as possible. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.